The first step we're going to walk through is how to install the T-harness for the GPS receiver. Here we're utilizing the John Deere Starfire cable and T as well as the CNH adapter harness which is A21147. These harnesses are included in the kit A21143. As you can see there is a T fitting hardwired into the cable. You have your Viper 4 serial port connection and we are going to add the CNH adapter harness onto the one end of our Starfire T harness. The next thing you want to locate is your Viper 4 display harness. It is best to have the Viper 4 display and associated cables that come with the update kit already installed into the tractor prior to installing your GPS cable. Make sure that those pieces are installed and harnesses are routed correctly prior to installing this GPS adapter cable. And if you follow those connections out, your very first connection that you're going to run into is a 9-pin serial connection and it's going to be labeled GPS receiver and then DGPS on the tag. Your connection from your universal GPS harness is going to plug in to that connection on your display harness. The next step is going to be locating the navigation diagnostics port on your tractor. On front wheel assist tractors, and this is again on a newer style Magnum front wheel assist tractor, behind the seat there is a small cover panel. Once you remove the panel, there's a small diagnostic pin connection connect your universal GPS harness to that diagnostic plug. Again, there will be an empty or bare plug on that T harness. Again, that's perfectly normal. Once you plug into your diagnostic port by your navigation controller, <clears throat> you are then able to route your harness back to the display harness. If you are in an articulated or four-wheel drive tractor, you must lift up the buddy seat and remove the parts container to expose the fuse panel and then locate the 12 pin diagnostic plug by your fuse panel. Once you've plugged or found your diagnostic plug, connect your universal GPS harness to that diagnostic plug and route your excess harness behind the seat and then your harness installation is complete. The following steps are for message setup if the customer is currently using navigation in his tractor. So if he's using auto steer already, these steps are what you will follow to turn on the correct messages. These messages can be set up with most CNH displays including the Pro 300, 600, 700 and the IntelliView 3 or 4 if you're a New Holland uh, tractor user. Once the display is completely booted up from the main menu screen on your Pro 700 we need to select the toolbox icon. Again with navigation select the NAV or nav tab for navigation settings. Once that screen comes up there's a whole bunch of options on that page and we're going to select under the NEMA output setup we're going to press the edit box to get into editing the messages that are sent out. Make sure that the NEMA output is set to on. The baud rate is 38,400. Make sure the absolute speed option is off. And the LLA precision and max quality are both set to 8. Then select OK on that box. Once those values are entered, it takes you back to our setup screen. And then on the right side of your page, select the edit button 
under the NEMA message setup. Once you press on that box, it brings up another dialog box. We need to make sure to set the GGA option to 5 hertz, the RMC message to 1 hertz, the VTG message to 5 hertz, and the ZDA message to 1 hertz. Once all of those values are changed and verified, you then can select OK. Once those steps are complete, you then can reference the Viper 4 setup guide. Once you have good GPS signal, you can validate that the Viper 4 sees that GPS signal by following the steps in your setup guide, in your quick reference sheets for the Viper 4, as well as the instruction sheet that come with the kit referencing this GPS setup and cable installation. Thank you.